stay out there, that's for sure. And it's been a bit more humid this week, as we know, at least thus far this week. So we've got a little bit more energy for some showers and storms, that moisture and heat just enough uh, to give us a few showers and thunderstorms and heavy downpours in these. But the good news is we're not expecting anything severe across our area. We don't have a major frontal system sliding in that would really kind of make more violent weather, I guess you could say. Uh, we're just seeing some pop-up activity, and that's pretty much the gist of what we're going to see over the next few hours. I've actually been watching the pipe stem camera. The rain has actually been falling a bit. They've actually had a little shower roll through. These kind of showers, you know, you're out and about hiking. I was earlier today, and it actually feels good when you get rained on. You just got to watch out for that thunder and lightning and make sure you can get somewhere safe. That's why it's always a good idea to have the WVBA weather app or some kind of alert system on your phone. You can keep up with storms if they pop up. Temperatures right now, a mixture of 70s and 80s, just depending on if you've seen some storms or not at times. Again, Bluefield's been hotter than this today, for instance, but they've cooled down just in the past few hours with a few showers cooling down the air. Into the evening, though, overall, we're going to stay mild. We'll be in the 70s for a few more hours, eventually 60s and 50s overnight tonight. That chance of rain should go down. I think we'll see just enough clearing to possibly catch a glimpse of the partial lunar eclipse in the early morning. If you're an early riser around 545, something kind of off, something kind of weird is going to happen. First of all, we've got the full moon tonight. This is the full flower moon. It's named after the flowers that bloom in May. But Earth's shadow will actually be turning the moon a shade of red early tomorrow morning. Now, for most of our area, we're not going to be able to see this full total lunar eclipse with the entire moon turning red, but we will be able to see part of it starting at 545 and then it will end once that sun goes up. We won't be able to see it anymore. But if you start to notice that red hue trying to creep in, that's what's happening. A better view, that total red hue eclipse, that's going to be further west. They can see it a lot better out there than we hear or than we can on the east coast. It'll be a few more years before we get a total lunar eclipse here. But just hey, something to mention overnight tonight because again, once these showers and storms kind of clear out, we should have some more gaps in those clouds, especially early tomorrow morning. The full moon again will be nice tonight in general. Temperatures tomorrow back in the 70s and 80s. Tomorrow the weather's on repeat. We're going to see a few pop up showers and storms, but it's just going to be another steamy day for the most part. Thursday looking about the same. Could see a bit more cloud cover then. A few more showers, maybe slightly cooler with that cloud cover, but overall still kind of summer like. It's at the end of the work week, Friday into Saturday right here that we've got some more moisture, a stronger frontal system. And that's going to cool us down too. Temperatures tonight, again in the 60s, just a few passing clouds. Tomorrow, maybe a few rumbles of thunder like we've seen today. And then again, we start to get more unsettled at the end of the work week, cooler into Memorial Day weekend, but still dry for most of the weekend. So I, again, I have to ask Catherine, where's the picture on your seven day from? That is from Brooks Overlook in Hin uh, near uh, Hinton in Summers it. County. If you're on Route 20, you can just pull over. The overlook is right there. you got to check it out. Every day. It's going to be Catherine and Mel's adventures. I just want to know where these pictures are from because I want to travel <laughs> to these places, and I'm sure some of our viewers do. Thank you, Catherine. Stay with us. We'll be right back.